So having my quince was really hard because it was something we all wanted. He wanted, he was such a party person. That was really tough. Having a quince was really tough. Hi, I'm Daisy. I'm 17 years old and this is my quince story. You may know me from TikTok. I do dancing videos, regular videos. I started doing TikToks when it was musically and I got into it because of my cousin. I asked her for help, she helped me, and I started getting a lot of views for my dancing videos or just regular videos. And later on when I started posting more, I'm very grateful that I was able to get crowned a couple months before it turned into TikTok. When I was growing up, I never really like planned on getting big on a social media platform. I wanted to take it on and I wanted to show the world my personality and I just wanted to spread more positivity on social media platforms. From what I remember, my quince was really fun. It was an emotional day as well, but overall it was, it was amazing. My quince was two years ago. I first wanted a quince when I was around seven or eight years old because I remember my cousins were already planning their quince. I got really excited. I was pumped. I wanted, I was already finding the color of the dress. I wanted like so many things. My parents were both very supportive of me having a quince. I haven't really watched my quince video since the party happened, but I'm really excited to see it even though it might be an emotional roller coaster. All right, let's watch it. This is exciting because I haven't seen it in like forever. I took these pictures a couple weeks before my quince and it was super hot that day. The majority of girls for their quince have like a bouquet of flowers when they take their pictures and everything. I didn't have one. So the photographer brought an umbrella and the umbrella was really awkward. My arm was getting tired and the pictures just come out awkward so that's not my favorite. It was really like nerve wracking I want to say. My family was there and it was really awkward because I had to take pictures with like a lot of different people that day as well. It's so it's so weird seeing this. I had a court, but my court was my cousins. It was all of my girl cousins. There was no boys involved. I decided to have my girl cousins because at that time I was homeschooled, so I didn't really have like communications with like my old friends. And I just I I love my cousins, and I know nothing would go wrong with my cousins. I'm really grateful they said yes. <laughs> Look how awkward I like walking. For my actual quince, I wore boots. Um, I decided to wear boots because I'm not really, I'm not like such a big heel person, and I'm tall as it is already, so I didn't want to be taller, and I just didn't want to be super tired in them. So my dad actually loved boots. He liked boots, and I decided just to wear them, and they were really cute. It was also the first time my family got to see my dress because I wanted to keep it a secret because I was super in love with this dress but they all they all like the dress so my dress I found it in Moda 2000 I tried on a lot of different dresses the day of but my sister found this dress and as soon as I saw it, it was beautiful the sleeves are long and they just had like an ending puffing to it when I tried it on it was super duper light so it was just it was a bonus the back was beautiful as well everything about it was Beautiful. I chose to go with white because I wanted my theme on neutral colors and I didn't want my dress to be like the brightest because overall it was still gonna be puffy. I was still gonna, everyone was still gonna see me in my big dress. I felt like everything came together and everything just went nice together. I had a madrina de corona. I saw this crown. It's like a beautiful, beautiful crown. It, everything about it just went with my dress and it's just, it's not heavy whatsoever. It did not fall whatsoever and I instantly fell in love with it. I had a rooster on my nose just because it represented something really meaningful to me. I chose a rooster because um, they would call my dad El Gallo and El Gallo in English is the rooster. It took like a good three hours for them to complete the whole set of nails and it was just amazing. My hair, the last minute I decided to change it and I wasn't a big fan of how I wanted to change it. I felt like it was super high up and when I took my pictures, the bun was like just lower. So I wish I would have just stayed with like the hair I wanted from the start. And I do not recommend you guys changing anything last minute because this is forever, you can't redo it. So 2017, my dad was deported. My mom went with him to Tijuana and we would go visit him every weekend or at least sometimes in like the week. Then 2018 came around and we sadly lost him because um, he attempted to cross the border and he got a heart attack while crossing. So we sadly lost him on the 13th of September 2018. So having my quince was really hard because it was something we all wanted. He wanted, he was such a party person. So. 
that was really tough. Having a kinsu was really tough. It was really hard for me to lose my dad because I I had considered myself a daddy's girl. I was we were clowns together. We would clown on everyone. So losing him made a big difference in my life. I lost him at 15 years old, so I'd had like a late quince. My dad would have wanted me to have a quince, and he really wanted me to have a quince, but I feel just having him there would have made everything better and like just complete everything. I had my quince in my tia's front yard. It's pretty big. It was just like a beautiful place just because I've always wanted a greenery area. I wanted it to be outside. We just thought it was better to have it in the LA area because it was just like a meet up point. It would be just be better for everyone to go. My theme, the theme I wanted was a... I wanted a Mexican theme but with neutral colors just because I didn't want so many bright colors. We had the papel picado just white because it's white goes with everything and it was just like my dress. So this is the first time I saw my dad's dad. This was emotional because he looks just like my dad. Like just seeing my grandpa is seeing my dad. Um, this is my dad's mom, my grandma. Seeing her, like is, it hurts. Let me tell you, my dad's brothers look so much like my dad. So it's like, it was really emotional. I started crying because this is my dad's side. I just knew I had the support of his family, his side, his blood. So these centerpieces, um, we made them, we DIY'd them. We went to Tijuana to get the, um, the cantaritos, I think they're called. We decided that they were going to be the center pieces just because they're simple and they're beautiful. This is like the candy table, the snack table. We have the cacahuates, the peach rings. Those are my dad's favorite candy. I didn't get to get some candy. Everyone took them, so I was pretty upset. We had a big photo of my dad. He wasn't there. Physically, but through a picture he was. I had a big llama piñata because my dad knew I loved llamas. Having this piñata there, it's just, it's something funny and like, if you guys know me, you guys know I love llamas. During the ceremony, it was really hot and the sun was right at us, but there were certain times where I got very emotional because they brought up the topic of my dad. Just seeing everyone there for me was amazing. We had somebody make churros for us and Unfortunately, I did not get to try them, but I heard they were good. We had a mariachi band, and mariachi was my dad's favorite, and that made me feel even more closer to my dad. Because I know for sure he would have hired a mariachi band as well. It just reminded me of a lot of Tijuana. It really brought the party alive. This dessert table, my tia made everything. She made the cake, the cake pops. I told her what I was going for, and she made it, and it was beautiful and perfect. I did not get to try it though. If you guys are gonna have a quince, make sure you eat the food there, because if you don't eat, you'll regret it. This is my mom and my tia singing. We clown on her. I just find it really crazy how like the party started right away. The banda got there, and every everyone started dancing, and they got me out to dance, and yeah, it was it was really fun. My family loves to party. So we were entering and I wanted the banda to like come behind me. So I had my dad's picture dancing with my dad and then there's the banda. It was super fun. My tío brought in the llama. He came in dancing with the llama. As soon as we got in there, um, I put my dad's picture down. I danced with him for a bit, but then I started pulling people in to dance with me. This part, everyone, every, like, everyone came up to take pictures with me. I had a beautiful chair. It was like a throne, I want to say, and it just made me feel so confident up in there. I had all my llamas come up and dance with me. I love the way they all look in the dress. I wanted them to wear black and with their boots. I, I told them to wear black just because I feel like it looks really put together. My dress was white, so then having black, everything would just be together. So this part, my mom was basically just telling everyone that I was about to have my waltz. And for my waltz, um, I cried just because I wanted all my uncles to dance with me and I guess kind of take my dad's place. My relationship with my mom, we're really close. Um, I feel like ever since my dad passed, we got like really close. I would always sleep with her after for like, for a year straight, I was her sleeping partner. She's a great support system and I try my best um, to just be there for her and to support her and to let her know that I love her so much because she's literally my motivation in life. And I'm very grateful that in this day, she was so, she was supportive and she had a smile on her face. We all cried at one, like at one point, but I'm so glad that she was strong. All right, this is my surprise dance. I loved my surprise dance. Um, I messed up probably like two times or maybe more, but it was a great experience. We would practice 
every other weekend I think because my cousins are pretty far from me like we live in different like cities so overall I think we did great when it would get to like practicing my damas would put in the work like they would put in all of the work I love our shades and I'm really really glad I chose the yellow shirt just because it's bright and it's just like she's she's the quinceanera my theme for it was mostly like a hip hop type of dance. We had a lot of Bad Bunny, Billie Eilish. This was kind of easy, but not as much, just because since I would do like TikTok dances, obviously I'm not a great dancer, but it was just more like nerve wracking because people were actually gonna be in front of me looking at me. I was just more nervous. This was super fun. I think I still kind of remember some of the dances. Well, throughout the whole dance, my mom was next to me. She was like on the side, and I know she she was cheering us on because when I would look at her, she'd be laughing or like just smiling at us. My mom would be in every practice. So we're just vibing. We're just doing our thing. We don't really care what anybody thinks. Oh my god, I forgot about the flip. Originally, the girls were gonna flip me, but they couldn't carry me. My brother and his best friend once went to our practice together. The choreographer decided to have them flip me, and it was pretty hard because obviously I didn't know how to like throw myself back. But we got it down and it was it was pretty cool. Overall, I think the surprise dance was great. I'll give it a 9.5. The rest of the night, we were just all basically dancing until the banda left. Overall, looking back at my quince, it was really hard and emotional to see it just because I know I found more emotions, like more feelings towards it. But it was just really fun to remember everything that happened. I'm just really glad I got to re-watch my Quince videos. The advice I'd want to give someone if you guys have lost someone or going through something like this is you guys should talk to someone or find a hobby that gets your mind distracted. Um, my hobby was making TikTok. Don't worry about the big, a big venue, a big party. The memories you will make are honestly way much better than having so many expensive things or such a big party. Thank you so much for watching my Quince story. Make sure you subscribe subscribe to Awesomeness TV, my Jimmy Quintanera channel, and comment down below what your favorite part of my Quintanera was. Bye!